Daisy man is found at the bottom of a Saudi Daisy Creek this afternoon after an hours long search. Hello everybody, good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Dave Staley. And I'm Lindsay Jackson. It took crews from all over Chattanooga a little over nine hours to locate the body. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato spent all morning and afternoon long at Big Saudi Creek. She joins us now with more. Alyssa. Dave Lindsay, authorities have identified the swimmer as Rodney Dale Miller. They say a call came in around 4 this morning saying Miller had been swimming in the creek but never came out. Once we came up to the location, uh, we started uh, gathering some in information from some of the family, uh, some of the other parties that was actually out here with the uh, with them when they come out to choose to uh, take a swim. That's when they say that they receive reports that Rodney Miller never made it back to shore. Authorities swarm the area as the search began for Miller shortly after 4 a.m. When officials realized what had happened here at Big Saudi Creek, they called in for reinforcements. It was then that they considered the search for Miller an all-around manhunt. But it wasn't until a few hours after the initial call they ran into a speed bump. The current of the creek at the time was running about 12 miles per hour, raising the question of safety into the minds of law enforcement and rescue personnel. The risk of actually placing men and women inside the water uh, was going to place a risk on, on uh, possibly harming somebody else. That's when the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office responded, providing an underwater robotic camera that was eventually able to locate Miller's body. Based on the current, based on the safety of uh, putting manpower in, uh, had, had we not had that underwater camera, uh, the risk was just too great. And while the creek is well known in the Saudi Daisy area, with the recent changes in weather, officials are warning others to be careful. We've all swam this creek, we've all swam in this lake, but uh, we've had enough rainfall. Uh, the current is more swift than it, than it normally is on a regular basis. Now, as of right now, it's unclear as to what caused Miller to drown. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you any updates once we receive them. Lindsay, back to you. Alyssa, thank you.